Hello and welcome to this video from filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. I'm Chris with a K. And today we're going to be looking at doing some stuff in Pure Bash. What I mean by that is we're going to do some things that you may know how to do using tools, but we are going to try to do with built in commands in Bash. And, you know, something simple that we use all the time is the cat command. So I can use the cat command and I can cat out the contents of this text file, which is some text from another video that I'm working on, uh, and it prints out the text to that file. But if we were to use the type command and say type cat, let me clear the screen real here, here real quick, um, type will tell you where the binary for a file is, if there is a st uh, standalone binary. So we run that and you can see that cat is actually its own command. It's not built into our shell, which if I echo dollar sign zero, it should tell us uh, as one way to check our shell, I'm running bash right here. So cat is actually not part of bash. And it's fine to use cat, but we can actually uh, get the content of a file without using any external tools, just using pure bash. So if I could use the echo command, I can say echo, and then we're saying dollar sign parentheses, and our command, if you will, is this less than symbol and the file name. If we do that, it prints out the content of the file, just like cat does. But if we say type echo, when we run that, you can see that it is it built into the shell. There's a shell built in. Some people like using printf. Printf can be a bit more powerful than echo, so we could do the same thing. Here we're saying printf, and then we're saying, okay, look at the next uh, input argument as a string, which is the content of the file, just like we did before. We have our dollar sign and parentheses, and then we have the, the less than symbol and the name of our file. And then after we print it all, we're going to print a new line just so that our uh, prompt doesn't end up being at the end of our text file there. So we do that, and we get the same output. And again, if we type print f, you can see that it is built into the shell. Now, if we want to manipulate the lines of a file, we can use a while loop, which lots of times I would do cat, the name of the file, and then pipe that into while. Well, we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to start off with our while loop, like so. We're going to say while read line. So that's going to create a variable for each line of our file, and then for each line we're going to echo out that line. But instead of piping the command cat into it, we're just going to use the less than symbol to redirect the content of our MSG file, our message file, into that, and it will print it out much like you would, again, with cat or echo or printf. Uh, but what this allows us to do, again, is to manipulate the content of the file. So in this case, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm putting little dashes around each line. So I can run that, and we get the same output, but I have manipulated each line by adding some dashes. Of course, you can do more than that in the while loop. But that is a simple way uh, uh, to, or a few options for you if you're trying to print the content of a file using Bash and you don't want to use Cat because it's an external tool and it's, it's just an option. There's nothing wrong with using Cat if you want to use it. Uh, but just want to give you guys more options. So thank you. I'll put links in the description to everything I did, but it's pretty simple and straightforward. Thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. As always, I hope that you have a great day.